Where are we going? The old temple in the Wildwoods. Why? It'll be easier to explain once we're there. Go didn't see anything else while you were outside. Yeah. He said he doesn't care about Jotunheim anymore. That the Giants can keep their secrets. He's averted Ragnarok his own way. You think he knows all the Giants are dead? I'm more concerned that it no longer matters to him. What's he up to? <laughs> what happened here? So close to home. Our raiders warring with one another now. Those are not their arrows. Something else is out here. More over here. And fresh. Did they all get in while the state was down? That, or Odin cocked up the protection spell altogether. Almost to the bridge. Oh, guess the bridge gave out. Gonna need another path to the temple. Why would you come out this way alone, lad? I had dreams calling me. Dreams. Whoa, that one's still alive. No, look closer. Ah, <laughs> now. Suppose it's too much to hope that an enemy of theirs would be a friend of ours. That. Something strong and dangerous. Be on guard. Oh yeah, being all the way on guard. <laughs> Whatever it is, it works fast. There's the temple now. Just need to find a way around. Remember when I said there was someone who might help us get answers about the Giants and Loki? You mean Tyr, the old god of war in these lands, who is dead. Well, for a dead man, Odin seemed pretty keen on seeing he wasn't found. Right? He knows Tyr could unite the realms against him. Plus, Tyr was the Giants' greatest ally. So... Enough. rather swiftly, Oh! 
wasn't in the way last time I came. Like I was saying, Tyr was an ally to the Giants. So he'd be on our side if we find him. And if anyone might know who I'm supposed to be, it's him. If he's out there, we gotta find him. How can we not? Those are many ifs, Atreus. What do you know? You'll see soon. Imagine what the lads found, but he says he has evidence. We've come this far. Let's see it. Many dead here. We should keep moving. Too late. Isn't it nice how Thimblewinter wore down all the helpful magic we acquired? Yet somehow new terrors oh. don't flourish. As if on cue. Got it. Wonder who they mean. 
We climb. On it. Ah, he has gotten rather good at that. Yet another grisly scene. I've seen my share of bloodshed, but this is an awful lot for one morning. Winter Freya, the raiders Storn Odin barging in, and now stalkers playing in our woods. This is no safe haven anymore. Father, the shield Mom gave you. Thor damaged it, but now. Perhaps the dwarves could take a look at it. Perhaps. Later. Come on. We can get in this way. Why are we here, Atreus? Okay. You remember all those shrines we found, telling the stories of giants? How the panel on the left would be their origin, and the panel on the right would be their fate? Yes. We found many. I have seen them. Well, there's more to them than we realized. Well, the collapsed pillar is new, but the shrine is just on the other side. <coughs> how do you always know how to find those? Ah, 
Things collapsing on a regular basis in these parts. Fimble Winter wears down all things. Even stone. Watching? Well, that's new. Come on. Atreus, wait! Yeah, I don't think he's waiting. What is this, lad? Where are we? Somewhere only giants were meant to see. These shrines tell their stories to the world. But it turns out the real stories, the secret stories, those they kept here, inside. You remember the story of Skull and Hati? The wolf giants? Odin captured them because he thinks it'll help him control when Ragnarok starts. I remember. But that's not the whole story. See, this shows the giants setting Skull and Hati free. They're free? Is this the past or the future? Depends when you're looking at it. Spoken like a giant. See? The wolves are safe. Somewhere in Vanaheim. It's not the first place Odin would look, I suppose. There they are, chasing the sun and moon. Old habits. Until, look, the moon gets stolen. Somehow. Atreus. See? Hati's got nothing to chase. And they say celestial theft is a victimless crime. Not totally sure who this is, but someone comes along and rescues the moon. And then, the moon blocks out the sun. A total eclipse? I haven't seen one of those in a hundred winters. But then they chase an arrow, and things go back to normal. What does any of this have to do with... We're coming to that. Look, here's Ragnarok. Do you see who's leading the armies against Odin? That's Tyr. If he's gonna be around at Ragnarok, that means he's gotta be alive. Right? Mimir. Can this be? Odin told me he killed Tyr, and he trusted me at the time, or so I thought. What if he didn't kill him? What if he's just had him locked up somewhere all this time? We are back to ifs. Enough. Wait! We are going home. Wait! I have one more thing to show you. It's just out here. What is this? Everything I found. Well, almost everything. That's giant craftsmanship. You've been to Jotunheim again? No, I found it in one of the other shrines. Others, oh, right? How many have you visited? I. well. all of them? All the ones I could still get to in Midgard, anyway. I don't know what it is. But it's important. Just like all this. When I was inside one of the shrines, I saw an image of Tyr imprisoned. But I couldn't tell where. 
There are hints inside the other shrines. You mention black smoke and the bleeding earth. But we can never figure out exactly. We. Yeah, Sindri's been helping me. Look, I talked him into it. It, it wasn't his idea. I just needed someone to watch my back. Black smoke. Bleeding earth. Could the prison be in Muspelheim? Unlikely. Odin's got no presence to speak of in the primordial realms. But the bleeding earth? Sounds like a mine, eye. The realm of the dwarves, perhaps. Spartal fine. That's a good bet. Their minds did burst black smoke, and Odin's had his thumb on the dwarves for a very long time. That's it then. Tears and Spartal find somewhere, imprisoned in a mine. So, what now? Home. Way. Vlad, even if we consider looking for Tyr, how do you have us getting to Svartalfheim? You know Odin's had all travel between realms locked up tight. Sindri said he had an idea or two about that. Sindri is full of ideas. Huh. Ground looks kind of cracked there. Oh. Shortcut this way. Remember when we fought our first troll out this way? I remember you lost control. <sighs> we must tread carefully, brother. Danger is close. You okay fighting without a shield? It is not my first time. curiosity against him. It goes with being young. In my youth, we learned obedience. And is that what you wish for him? Brother, he's going to walk his own path. If you don't want him walking away from you, then smarten up and walk with him a while. Hmm. If we could find a way to open Rome travel to Sparta Farm, I bet there'd be all sorts of useful equipment for us to... Enough. We will go. Really? But if we do not find Tyr, you will abandon your search for good. All right. You won't be sorry. <gasps> Kratos! Over here! Sentry! <gasps> As I live and breathe, is that Atreus? It's been so long. <gasps> How you've grown. <laughs> uh, oh, well, yeah. Well, if you'll follow me, 
Brock mentioned you needed somewhere safe to spend the night, and I believe your favorite dwarves can help you out with that. We're still your favorite dwarves, right? You're still the only dwarves we know. I'll take it. After you, my friends. Where are we going? The cleanest cabin in all the Nine Realms. And I'd prefer it to stay that way. Not looking at anyone in particular. Kratos. <laughs> After that Thor incident, we thought we should make up some rooms. Till you can figure out your next moves. Nearly there. Huh. 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 Oh. Huh. Huh. As you can see, we've settled here in the realm between realms. It's nothing much, but it's safe from Fimblewinter, safe from Odin's eyes. And you really can't beat the view if you're into shimmering gray voids. That's amazing, Sin. We have a plan to talk to you about, actually. Intriguing. Come in. Come in! Now, if you would just wipe your feet very thoroughly, I'll wait. You're not gonna wipe your feet, are you? Okay then, if your bedrooms are there, the kitchen is just over there. Any... Anybody need a snack? Kratos? Snack? I do not need a snack. What we need is your help getting to Sparto Farm so we can try and rescue Tyr. To Tyr? Well, al alive? I mean, that's... What? It it's okay. I told him everything. Everything? You hated my son and disobeyed me. No, I, I kept an eye on him. On your behalf. Nothing risky. Everything very safe. Somebody else speak. What's important right now is that we try and open up travel between realms again. You said you know a way? Yes, I do. I just... It's just... There's... It's just a lot of mud. Then why haven't you opened the way already, man? Well, to be frank, there was... Something we needed your help with. Oh! The Holder brothers finally require the services of the smartest man alive. That's it precisely. Hey! Not so fast. How'd that get in here? What the hell is he anyway? That is my son. Well, what in all yarns me the happen to him? He's too damn tall now. And he looks like that. I blame you. Well, come on, then. Let's get him something that fits, at least. He's just getting older, you dark prat. Didn't you ever have an awkward phase in your youth? Hey. I yeah, suppose what's done is done. But you'll be putting your foot down from now on if you know what's good. Oh, he's trying. Believe me. All right, let's gear you fuckers up before you go off gallivant. Do you know this? Hmm. Busted up good. <laughs> Wouldn't you rather I just whip you up a new one? It is important to me. Well, I'll see what I can do. In the meanwhile, how about I fix you up with something to get you by? Hey, come see. I guess this is where they store the food. Nice to have options if I wake up hungry. Finding everything all right, I hope? How do we unlock the realms? We'll just need something from back at the workshop. Follow me, and be sure to bring the head. Uh, yeah. So, where exactly is Tyr being held? He's imprisoned in a mine somewhere. That's all we know so far. Hmm. The realm is full of mines, you realize. You'll need help narrowing it down. Oh, you should talk to Durlin. Who's Durlin? He's a cousin of ours. Sort of. Works for the city on safety issues. Should have access to all kinds of information on mines. And I know he's no friend of Odin. That's why your mother sought his help when she was trying to whip up a rebellion. Ready? A rebellion? Did you know about that? 
I did not. A rebel leader from New Mom. Sounds like exactly what we need. I think you missed the ta-da. Well, never mind. I'll have this oiled up in no time. Meet you at the gateway outside. Rebel leader? Derlin? <laughs> if that ain't giving a hound a haircut. Huh? And you, you just remember things however they pop into your being, don't you? I suppose you think Derlin's just counting the days until a couple of strays show up looking for trouble. What do you mean, Brock? Will he help us or not? No, oh, never mind. It ain't old Brock's place to cast asparagations on my relations. This much bunger notwithstanding. Ignoring you. Fine. Go darken Derlin's door. See for yourself how it goes. Just be warned, he's not the friendly sort of dwarf folk you're used to. He's cranky as all get out. And he talk funny, too. Sounds like a true study in contrast. You hear that? We'll just need the Bifrost and the head. Brock? Do the touching. Oh, this would be the part requiring my assistance, then. You said it. This device here has been crafted to your measurements. It'll help you get a better look at the problem with those Bifrost eyes of yours. So, I... Do I control this thing somehow, then? Oh, no, 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 no. This is just to hold you in place while we shine this light in your eyes. Oh, oh, Cindy, a sodding bastard! <laughs> open, open now. I was really hoping not to use the eyelid clamps. Do it. <laughs> oh! That's it. That's it. Good. Now, release! Still unpleasant. Oh, that's our cue. Come on, hurry. I'm coming, I'm coming. Russell got eggs, man. What was that for? You'll see soon enough. Just adjust. Oh, there. That should do it. See? No permanent damage. I'll show you permanent damage, you wee fuck. Kratos, throw me at him. Horns first! <laughs> Case you takes a joke, you old goat! <laughs> the Bifrost is broken. Now that we've reconfigured these gateways to use Yggdrasil seeds, you won't need a travel table or a Bifrost lamp anymore. I also used it for light. Okay, good note. I'll figure something out, but first, come on, let me show you how it works. Okay, aim your key at the rune for Svartalfheim on the right, then concentrate. This should take you to the wetlands outside Nidavellir City. Just make your way to the town square and ask for Durlin at the tavern. You sure they'll know him at the tavern? Durlin's always been an inveterate inebriate. I suppose he might have completely changed, but in my experience, eh. Did you want to come with us? Oh, I might drop in, but the wetlands are moist. And the Grim are everywhere. Hostile, slimy, foul-smelling creatures. But good luck. Thanks. Wait, what? I said good luck. Whoa, do you feel that? What's that like? Anything, e everything. It's warm. We can probably use this boat. If I can just get it free. Uh... Careful, lad. <laughs> ah! Why are these things so fast? <laughs> 
already off to a lively stop. Petraeus, you don't have to die. I got the boat free, though. We can head through these channels when you're ready. <laughs> What's the chain in the water for? That'd be a dwarven supply ferry. Said ferry appears to be missing. Huh. I still can't believe Mom led a whole rebellion here, against Odin, and never talked about it. The fact that it didn't go well might have covered that notion. What your mother did before we met was her business. Did you ever ask? Eyes on the water. They are resources. You never asked Mom about what she used to do. What did you talk about when you met? Like, did you just say, Woman, guard the house. I will go to catch fish in the river. And then leave for five days? No. Your mother was far better at fishing than I. the channel. I imagine if you can turn it, we should be able to get through. So these are wetlands, huh? Pretty accurate. It is a bog. The smell is making my eyes burn. You know what is a fair bit more potent than when I last visited, now that you mention it. Looks like the path continues on the other side of that geyser. If only we were in Midgard, that water would be frozen in the second. Brother, you think freezing it would work? That's dirty enough to climb? Aye, good old dwarven craftsmanship. Tyr was a friend to the giants. I wonder if he and Mom ever met. If he was a part of the rebellion here. It's certainly possible. The god of war often advocated for the giants. Although I don't recall if he ever declared allegiance outright. Your 
Okay, there's got to be some way to turn the wheel up here. Well there! Give a man some warning if he's about to suddenly end up snout deep in cheek. The ground. Was that an earthquake? Hmm. An occasional but not unheard of happenstance in Spartalfine. With all the mining here, the land's bound to be a wee bit bothered. thinking because it's so warm maybe it's not that the cold hasn't made it here yet but maybe it's just different in Sparta farm I lie thimble winter doesn't strike all realms quite the same way weird that thimble winter doesn't always make it winter in Midgard it does but as you can see the effects here appear far more gaseous in nature observe the geysers observe the aforementioned aroma these effects were present before in some form, but now there's new extremity to them.
They cap those geysers? Hmm. I think we need to get that wheel moving, but the water doesn't reach. Ingenuity for you. Back to the boat. If the dwarves of this realm are anything like Rock and Sindri, it's hard to imagine them siding with Odin. Well, all too often people are blinded to all but their immediate self interest. Odin offered them safety, and defying him can be quite dangerous. Maybe they just need a couple of gods to come along and take the fight to him. Atreus, that is not why we are here. I was only joking. War is not a joke. Especially where gods are concerned. Atreus, you intend to recruit Tyr as an ally for war. I just... I'm trying to keep our options open. Let's just keep moving. I'm glad we're out here, exploring a new realm. Maybe we could just try to enjoy the warmth? Looks like we gotta find a way to open that gate if we want to get to Nidavallir. Then how shall we catch it? Flank it. Attack from behind. Good.
halfway there. There's got to be another chain to lower the rest of the gate. Look, there's a chain we can pull up there. You can uncover that geyser from here. <laughs> oh, I think I get it. If you freeze the geyser, the pressure will turn the wheel. Nice one. That's one of Cavassier's poems. Very highbrow. You should collect any others you find. Glad, <laughs> if I may. What exactly are you hoping to learn from Tia? Well, like I said, I was hoping he could tell me something about Loki. I'd also like to hear some of his stories. Traveling to other lands, giant stuff, and maybe about what it was like to fight back in the day. Just for the history, obviously. History? <laughs> Let's hope Tia's in a talkative mood after being imprisoned for so long. Not all of Odin's captives can be as charmingly voluble as myself. We have no proof Tyr is truly here. Right. That earthquake earlier. You think there will be another one? It's unlikely, but geological disturbances tend to be unpredictable. If the geysers and smell here are worse because of Fimble Winter, maybe the earthquakes are too? Hi. Atreus, look ahead. Wow, now this looks like a city. Welcome to Nidavellia, brothers. Hey, dwarves! Oh, they're uh, running away. An alarm. I'd only sound an alarm like that if I still had my body, and was fearing the notion of being detached from it. Why that for us, though? We are scared. Most definitely an alarm, I'm afraid. Why is everybody hiding? Stay alert. Talk to we you don't for want any trouble, please. There'll be no help, to be sure. Best we find the tavern Sindri mentioned on our own, and hope they let us in. The buildings here really are incredible. The detail in the woodwork is quite extraordinary. <laughs> Ah! 
Is that a statue of Odin? They must really love him here. Or oh, fear him. Sentry! Hello! I'd return your surprise, but I did know you'd be here. I've got something for you. Thanks for grabbing that for us. What is a dwarf? You know, I'm glad I came back here at least once before Ragnarok. Oh, if these cobblestones could talk. Then they'd have mouths. Filthy, disgusting mouths. Do you mind if I fiddle with your bow? Oh, you are long overdue for a replacement. <sighs> Taking advantage of certain material... Ow! Structural sensitivity to sonic vibrations has been something... Ah! I've been meaning to try for quite some time now. Thanks for, uh, finally trying it. What's it gonna be this time? Patience. I find it's best to see these things... Oh, in action. Ah. Take aim at that gate there, but before you loose, say, Skialfa. 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 Ah! Well, I certainly didn't expect you to disturb half the creepy crawlies in need of Valir. How was I supposed to know they were there? Okay, so, Derlin. Sindri, any idea where the tavern is? Do I look like I've ever been to a filthy tavern? The sewer you just punched a hole through seems promising, though. For you. It should lead to the other side of the city. It's not like you're able to open other doors around here. So this lockdown really is because of us? Oh my, yes. Odin's grip on this realm is so firm, any outsider is considered a threat. Sounds like an Odinism if I ever had one. Nothing appeals to you? Best of luck. Any outsider is considered a threat. Is that to protect the dwarves? It sounds like it. But knowing Odin, there's sure to be an ulterior motive. Well, everyone's hiding on this side too. Odin's occupation of this realm has its hooks in deep. But there aren't any guards patrolling. We're clearly not a threat. Why hide? Resist and you're made an example of. To keep the rest in line. Self-preservation can outweigh bravery for even the strongest of folk. Fear keeps them safe and alive. Tavern's gotta be around here somewhere. Maybe we can try knocking on some doors for directions. Uh, let's just keep moving. The Alpha! I think we need some special equipment to use this. Ah. 
looks to be an artifact from the Dwarven Resistance. A firebomb from the chief anti-Odin propagandist in Durland's Rebellion. Quite a sharp witch she had until she turned to... Well, something resistance. You ought to be interested in getting these back. I'd better in this hands than out in the open. Got it! <laughs> This looks promising. Right? Well, it's like a house. If he's here, maybe you should let me do the talking. You? Well, we don't want to intimidate him. You're tall as a tree and you have a severed head on your head. <clears throat> None taken. Fair point, though. Very well. Think that's him? Hello? Watch yourselves. Apparently, there are intruders about. Oh, that's us, I think. Eh, well, if you're planning on killing me, at least let me finish this song. That alarm was in just the perfect key. We're just looking for a friend of ours named Durlin. <laughs> well, we both know that's not true. Durlin's got no friends left. But if that's all you need, head out the back way there and you'll see the safety office just across the river. Just don't go making trouble for the rest of us. And while you travel through this realm, maybe you could clean up the head's mess? What mess? Later, brother. I wish to hear of this mess. The rig's in the bay. Why don't you ask the condescending skull? Head, I've got skin. But he's right. I made a mistake. I'd have us shut them down. Sorry, one more thing. Although, these are gifts I'm giving to you, so I shouldn't be sorry and you should be thankful. Anyways, here. Please be careful. It's beautiful. Thanks, Sindri. It is beautiful, isn't it? It's also very useful. You'll be able to find anything your heart desires with it. Really? As long as your heart desires the locations your father and you decide and plot to travel together, then yes. It is a compass. Ah, but a beautiful compass. Now scamper off. Come. A boat cannot be far. Huh. Really, your Sindri made it sound like Durlin was some sort of rebellion leader. It doesn't sound like anyone's following him. Was being the key word here, little brother. There's a building just past these rocks behind me. Maybe we should head that way. Ah, uh, those bloody mining rigs. What about them? The Skald is right to blame me for them. They were my idea. If you've got the time, they're in the bay just beyond this tunnel. I'd particularly appreciate us checking out the mining rigs in the lake to the right. You can see the smokestacks from here. But if you don't want to explore now, 
It looks like Derlin's place is through that open gate to the left. So, which way do we go? We could prepare more before rescuing Tyr. Up to you. Mimir, were you really the one who had those rigs built? Odin wanted the dwarves under his control, and, well, I convinced him he could buy their allegiance instead of demanding it outright. A trade agreement of sorts. That dragon sculpture is not bad. <laughs> <laughs> Find a perch on high. Not the first time someone's told me that, I suppose. I think I see something.
taking a break before visiting Durlin? Very wise. He can be... One of the mining rigs is here. See the smoke above us? That's where we're headed. Let's see if we can't shut it down. Wow, there's a lot to explore here. Kind of nice to be out of Midgard for a bit, huh? One less feathery spy. Incoming! Who of you? Likely chock a block with materials that could help us. I'd grab whatever it spits up in the process. Dwarves agreed to the deal with Asgard. Why do they blame you? I talked them into their own exploitation. They need their choice. Work or die is not a choice. I only made it seem so. What you just picked up there is pure Spartalfime ore. It won't be of use in the rig anymore, but perhaps our Huldra brothers could craft something from it. Father, is it always moral to kill something that's trying to kill you? Yes. Well, there you have it, lad. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 
You know what? My face is itchy. I think my beard's coming in. Is it? Yeah, on my jawline. See? It's growing. Is it? Well, that's not just dirt. It's not dirt. Is that pure Spartalfheim slag? Give it here! By the way, if you're headed to the mining rigs in the bay, could you bring me any slag you find? I could use the material for my crafting. How did these rigs come to be? I had them built to harvest ore for armaments. Essentially harnessing resources that would otherwise go to the dwarves. You think shutting these things down will help the dwarves become independent? I don't know, but I have to try something. No, this is... it can't still be here. What? There's a key on this island. I need you to find it, brother. An innocent life is at stake. Watch your left! 
an innocent life was at stake. Did Odin trap somebody here? No, lad. I did. Ground looks weak down here, Father. That gear looks like it would freeze. Maybe that lift can help us get higher. It might be easier to break that ground from up there. Ground from up there? Key we're looking for. Now we must head to that watchtower on the shore. What are you not saying? I just need you to trust me.
Ymir, how many stories have you told about Odin and Thor? And all the bad things they've done? Let's see how many we can remember. Enough. Seems like father. We will continue later. There's another mining rig on this island, brother. Smell that smoke. Why would the dwarves agree to work for the Aesir in the first place? That's the heart of it, eh? You lied to them. I lied to them. Bet we could swing across that, uh, lift thing. Gantry. Gantry. Thanks. It's gotta be the right spot. <laughs> Smell fuel. Bet a spark from your blades would cause quite a boom. Break through the ground here if you found a high enough place to drop from. The dwarves didn't shut these rigs off themselves. One or two tried. The Ein Haryar made examples of them. They killed the dwarves? Can you have convinced them not to? Aye.
That should help. Yeah, that looks right. It wasn't so hard. Smiths of Svartal find the creation of a weapon was a sacred thing. But Odin just wanted as many blades as he could get, as fast as he could get them. With every stolen resource and mediocre blade, the dwarves lost a bit of themselves. <laughs> Dwarves survived because of you. Ah, you're not wrong there, brother. Odin would have wiped out every last dwarf in Svartalfheim. If he couldn't use their skills, no one could. Back to Thor and Odin stories? Where were we? Okay, there was Thalmor, the stonemason. Aye, he quarreled with his son, went into the night to find him, found Thor instead. And there was Thalmor's son, Grimther. Who built the walls of Asgard, and whispered something of importance to Freya before his betrayal and assassination. Ah, but enough of that for now. Smell the smoke? There's another mining rig here. You speak of your deeds with shame. Do you regret not allowing Odin to kill them? I don't think. If the door 
Ambrose didn't like working for Asgard. Couldn't they just quit? And do what? Their newly built forges poisoned the soil of Svartalfheim. Unable to grow their own food, they had to buy it from Asgard. If they stopped working, they'd be taking food out of their own mouths. Oh, that's clever. And awful. See to Muspelheim. Think it might lead to that combat arena we visited years ago? What makes you say that? Wishful thinking, I guess. Going through Sarah's gauntlet, it was fun. It was training. You didn't have fun? Hmm. Well, anyway. We should look for the other half of the seed. Once it's whole again, we can see where it leads. We can make it across. Spawning a little wretch is like there's no tomorrow. Well, it will be so. Incoming! Right side! 
could call so meager a task done. A wee drop out of the Asgardian occupational bucket. You must live with your deeds, but do not be troubled by them, brother. Oh? And why not? You were given an impossible problem. Do not blame yourself for failing to solve it. I'm sure the dwarves would feel differently. This doesn't fix things. No. But it is a start. A reminder, brother. That Spartalfheim slag we collected could be of considerable Go! use in the hands of Brock or Sindri. Go! Go! The air smells a lot cleaner. That's because we shut down the rigs. Nothing, brother. Just. You ever have those moments where you wish you could go back, rewrite your own past, make different decisions? Journeying through time is more trouble than it is worth. Ah, fair point. You're speaking metaphorically, right? No. Of course you're not. Whatever you need. Well, if you change your mind. Can you hear that? No. Thought I heard a voice. Let's keep going, lad. Just put the key into that lock, brother. If you could give that drum a good loud strike. That's the voice I heard. I'd hoped it would have escaped by now, but... 
We'll need to free it from its restraints. Bocker. I captured it many years ago. Broden. Yes. I thought it an imaginative and eye-catching way to earn his favor. It worked? That it did. Because I was young and stupid, and I didn't know what it was like to be chained in one place for years at a time, with nothing to occupy your mind but pain. If you could... Uh. with me, aren't you, brother? 
I remember the feeling of a yoke around my neck. I would not wish it upon another. Why enslave the creature? Its fat was a good source of oil. For Odin's lanterns. Oil? For lanterns? Whatever anger you're feeling. Whatever loathing toward me, it's nothing to what I've said to myself. was hiding some sort of device. that dock can lead us to the tail. Let's get back to the boat. You never spoke of this creature. Does that surprise you? That an old man would be ashamed of the mistakes he's made? No. I thought, I'd hoped the creature would be long expired by now. But apparently the Aesir couldn't even be bothered to mercy kill it once it was no longer useful. We could kill it. No. Not when we can save it.
Yeah, I don't think we can do anything with that yet. Good. You can reach the tail from this dog. You would still save this broken creature. I know what it is to be imprisoned like this. I can't just leave it. And if it is beyond saving? I don't understand. Let us continue. as well. <laughs> Winding down that rope should take us where we need to go.
I think I see something. Encouragement. Can you get me closer to its eye for a face to face, brother? Creature, the mining rigs. They're mistakes, Mimir. But it's Odin's fault. That's not an excuse, little one. But thank you for saying it. Blubbering beast. Shoo! It's not moving. Why is it not moving? Maybe it's grown accustomed to its chains. But... No. No, we can fix this. We just need to chase it off. Scare it! Something. There is no making things right. Only better than they were. wind blowing on its face. I can feel it. May you provide some comfort. That's not enough. It seldom is. Okay, what other terrible things have Odin and Thor done? There was Groa, of course. The Knowledge Keeper and Prophet of Ragnarok. Thor murdered her husband, and Odin covered it up before doing her in himself. I can't forget Amir, the first giant. Odin carved him up to form the realms from his body, and let the torrent of his blood nearly drown every giant alive. Enough. We will continue later. I'm here for you. Just checking in on me? Should we get back to listing all the awful deeds of the Aesir gods? What about the giants of Jotunheim? They all seemed dead when we finally made it there. That remains a mystery. Well, admittedly, it sounds like the Aesir God's dream. What about Fjorgen? Thor's mother was a giant, wasn't she? Indeed she was. The circumstances of her demise were murky at best. But not sure I can blame Odin for that one. He wasn't the same after. Oh, I know. There was Skavi, the queen of the hunt. Aye, she spurned Odin's affections. 
so we tricked her into killing her father. And we'll just stop there for now. <laughs>